Hi so there, just feed us with live. What is it? Is it Blockbuster? Movie cinemas. Great films not doing well. Massive Video UK. I mean, there have been, but I think they're probably part of the problem because we were only saying the other day we were going to go and see the Jurassic World film. And then we didn't get round to it. And now I'm kind of thinking, oh, well, we'll just wait until it's available to stream, watch it at home, that kind of thing. And perhaps that is a little bit of what is going on. Yeah. Let's take a bit more of a look. Good morning. Yes, the pandemic changed our habits and perhaps some are sticking more than others. When Top Gun Maverick hit the screens back in May, it was the most anticipated film of the summer. And it got rave reviews. Really? Oh dear. I loved that movie. I went to sit down to see it with my parents. It was brilliant. Cinema. Actually cool. Awesome. Top Gun took more than £65 million at the UK box office in its first two months alone, one of the highest grossing films of all time. But it hasn't been enough to save the fortunes of the world's second largest cinema chain. Cineworld has more than a hundred outlets across the UK, wow. but it's announced big financial losses after lower than expected ticket sales and says it's looking for a rescue deal. Experts say the pandemic is in part to blame, but there are other challenges too. All right. Eight out of the last 12 months in the UK have been the poorest on record for ticket sales this century, so there's a recovery, but there's a long way to go. Now, put that in context that the number of screens we have in the UK is equivalent to 1950s levels, so before VHS, wow. video, data, DVD, or others. But the level of admissions is, is at the same level as 1996. As for Cineworld, well, they blame a lack of blockbuster titles for failing to entice us all back, saying there have been limited releases. We've got things like Nope, there's the DC League of Super Pets, or perhaps Bullet Train, but they haven't hit or struck a chord with audiences. They just haven't landed well. We could do with right about now, maybe another superhero outing, or maybe Avatar 2 could pull forward. But currently, the biggest movies that are set to come out this year are way off in November yeah, and yeah, December, with the likes of Black Panther mm. 2, and as I mentioned earlier, Avatar. But for now, it's slim pickings. Well, the body that represents cinemas here in the UK says the industry mm. is Very worrying. starting to recover. Takings are up considerably on last year when restrictions were still in place, but still 80% behind levels seen in 2019. Wow. And the gap between cinema and streaming releases is closing. Gone are the days of having to wait months and months for a film to appear on DVD. Lightyear arrives at UK cinemas on June the 17th, appearing on Disney Plus just a few weeks later on August the 3rd. Perhaps even less incentive to shell out on tickets. And as the cost of living really starts to bite, with more than half of people saying they're already cutting back on non-essential spending, oh, right. cinemas will be banking on some really big blockbusters to get people through the doors. It's bad news, guys. Interestingly, one of the non-exec directors of Cineworld was saying this morning that part right. of the problem is that tickets are too expensive. Mm. Some people will agree with that. Probably would. No. Definitely. I mean, well, it's all discretionary spending that people are looking at at the moment now, isn't it? Hannah, thanks so much. Um, Hannah is very, very excited, not about the cinema, I will just say, because Steps is coming. Steps. If you like this video, please a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, Sign Gems, and the force speed we always quite if I spot the needs and the money. That way, need you. Please subscribe to my channel, Sign Gems.